Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and today we are going to make almond milk. Almond milk is great for those with dairy sensitivities because not only can you flavor it as you like, but you can use it as a milk replacement in recipes like cake and milkshakes. Once you try this almond milk, you won't want the store bought over it. It is delicious, creamy, and when unflavored only has two ingredients, almonds and water. You will need raw almonds and water, a jar or a bowl, a measuring cup, a food processor or blender, and though you don't have to filter it, most prefer it without the graininess. I use a jelly straining bag from a canning kit, but I've also used a clean sheet of muslin fabric and a towel. Both work great. If you decide to filter it, it is made easier by having a colander in a big bowl, which I'll show you later. I don't add any flavors when I'm using the milk for cooking, but if it's for drinking, I like to add a little blob of honey. But you can also add things like chocolate, vanilla, and a multitude of other options. First, put a cup of raw almonds into a jar, then cover them with water and leave them out overnight to soak. When you come back, you will see that the water is probably brown. Do not drink this water or use it in any of the following steps. It contains phytic acid, which in excess can cause deficiencies in things like calcium, zinc, magnesium, and other minerals that your body needs. So dump out that water and rinse off the almonds. While you're at it, try some of the soaked almonds, one of my favorite snacks, but don't eat too many or you won't have enough for the milk. If you didn't eat too many of the almonds, you will need four cups of water for milk or three cups of water for coffee creamer. My processor can't take the full amount of liquid without making a mess, so I do it in two batches. Add your almonds and your water and start blending. Blend until the almonds are thoroughly chopped up and the water is white. If you are filtering the milk, wet down whatever fabric you're using and squeeze it out. Put your colander into the bowl and then put your fabric or bag inside. Then pour your almond mash into it to let the milk filter out. When the stream has slowed down, with clean hands, you can squeeze the rest of the milk out. This is what you'll see after. This is almond meal, which when dried and ground fine enough can be used as almond flour. A quick search online will show the many options that you have to use with the almond meal. If you still have water to add, put it and the almond meal back into the blender to repeat the process. When you're done making the milk, you can add flavors if you want. Rinse out your processor and lid, and then put in enough milk to cover the blades and add your ingredients. I find that it's much faster and less messy to do this and add it to the rest of the batch than to try and blend the flavors into the entire batch at once. And that's it. Taste your almond milk and let me know in the comments below how it turned out and what flavors you like to add. As always, thank you for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more. Enjoy your almond milk and have a great day.